In this video, we'll build an IBGP network over dial-up IPsec VPN using the 48 firewalls. We're going to make use of mode config to dynamically address the tunnel interfaces. And then we'll use BGP to advertise the networks behind each of the 40 gates. So on 40 gate one, we navigate down to users, user and authentication. I'm going to first start by defining the group and I'll just name our group remote firewalls. Now let's create our usernames. The first would be for 40 gate 2, 40 gate 02, password 40 net. I'm going to associate to that group, promote firewall. Now for 40 gate 3, 40 gate 03, 40 net. Also a member of the same group. All right, now we're in shape. The next thing is to set up our VPN. We go to VPN. IPsec tunnels, we create new, I'll call this hub. And we want to make this a custom configuration. So for dial-up, we select dial-up user and we associate this with the WAN interface, which is our port one. So because we want to dynamically address the remote devices, um, we want for 482 and 483 to receive a dynamic IP address on their tunnel interfaces um, we're going to set up some kind of a DHCP server. That's what mode config does. And this is why we have to select mode config over here. And for DNS, I'm going to just use the same DNS settings that 40 gate one is using. And we, we select the range and our range is going to be 172.16.100. I'll start with four. And the last IP in this range would be 172.16.100.254. And this is a slash 24 network. I'm not going to select this. I'll just leave it so that we don't have split tunneling in, um, enabled. We want to disable add route because we're going to use BGP. The appreciate key would be 40 net. And as always, we want to select IC version two. And for the peer IDs that we want to accept, we want to select the, the group that we just created. So we define that group over here that is remote firewalls. I'm going to deselect all these proposals and only select AES256 GCM with PRF SHA256 and select the Defey Hellman Group 30. Our local ID is 4801. And I'm not going to define any phase two selectors, but what I will do is to remove the proposals on phase two and only have AES256 GCM just to be consistent. And now with our tenant interface in place, the next thing is to create the security policy. But I'm going to fast forward through this process. Now the security policy is in place, let's move on to 40 2 So on 40 2 we're going to navigate down to VPN IPsec and I'll just call this one tunnel zero with custom config and on 40 gate 2 because we know what the IP address of 40 gate 1 is it is 10.160.10.1 that's what we put in here it's 10.160.10.1 and our outbound interface is port 1 and again here we're going to select mode config um, this enables the tunnel interface to receive an IP address from the 40 gate one. Add route is disabled. Our appreciate key would be 40 net. We use Ike version 2 with AES256 GCM, PRF SHA256, Diffie Hellman Group 30. Our local ID is 40 gate 02. The same for phase two proposal. AES 256 GCM, Diffie Hellman Group 30, and we want to enable here or to negotiate. An interesting thing that you will notice is because we are a dial up client and we use mode config, we don't have phase two selectors um, to choose. We are unable to, that option is all gone now. We click on OK and our tunnel interface is configured. Let's create our security policy. But once again, I'm going to fast forward through the process.
and now security policy is in place as well and the interfaces have just turned green. Now let's move on to 48.3. Here on 48.3, the process is exactly the same as well. We navigate down to VPN, IPsec tunnels. We create a new custom tunnel and we'll, th we'll call this tunnel zero as well. Again, we specify the IP address of the underlay network, which is 10.160.10.1 .160 on 481. 10.160.10.1. And our outbound interface is the WAN port one interface. Again, we select mode config for dynamic addressing. The only thing we change here is to disable the add route option. I appreciate key 14 net with i version two. I'm removing all of these again. And now we're left with AES256 GCM with PRF SHA256 and DFA Hillman Group 30. And our local ID is 4803. When we look at the phase two proposal, we remove all of these again. We are left with AES256 GCM with DFA Hillman Group 30. So now this concludes our VPN connection on 483. The last thing is to create a security policy. Now with 4083 done, let's go back to 4081 and review where we are. Now we're back on 4081. What we want to do here is to make sure that 4081 also is going to have an IP address in the scope that's defined in the mode config. So you'd recall that under IPsec tunnels on 4081, we defined the range to be in the 172.16.100 range starting from 4 to 254. Both 4082 482 and 483 are going to receive IP addresses in that range, but we need to also make sure that 481 is going to have its um, itself is going to have an IP address in the same range. So that's the idea. We go to network interfaces. Let's navigate down to our VPN interface, and we'll give this one 172.16.100.1. And the remote IP here, I'll just say 172.16.100 say 254 will allow oh slash 24 and will allow ping on this interface um so that we can then do tests from the remote sites so i think now we're ready to do our basic tests i'm going to connect to the 40 gate one over cli diagnose ip address list to confirm our addresses in place and yes our address is in place 172.16.100.1 now let's have a look at the routes defined on 481. Show route are static. And the only static route that exists on 481 is a static route for the underlay infrastructure that allows us to reach to 482 and 483. Nothing else. Now let's list the routes known as the result of our configuration. Get router info, routing table, or so we know of the 172.16.100 slash 24 network um, with the dot one being locally connected. I'm going to connect to 482 and do the same. Diagnose IP address list. And 482 has an IP address now in 172.16.100.4. And it's associated to the tunnel interface. And we know this is dynamic because we didn't manually configure it. In fact, we can display that. Show system interface tunnel zero. There's no manual config and the same will apply for 48.3. But now what we want to do is to try and ping 172.16.100.1, which is 48.1 from 48.2. Exec ping options source 172.16.100.4. And exec ping 172.16.100.1. And it looks like we have basic reachability. Now let's do the same from 48.3. Diagnose IP address list. 483 got an IP address dot five in the 17216 range. Now let's try and reach 481 and see if this works. Exec ping options source 172.16.100.5. Five it is. And then exec ping 172.16.100.1. That has to be 172. And we also have reachability. And on 48.1, it looks like we have connectivity from both 48.2 and 48.3.
and um, across these tunnels that seem to be passing traffic correctly. So the next thing is to configure BGP. Starting with 4801, let's go to our network. So under network, we go to BGP and our local AS is going to be 100 and our router ID is going to be 1.1.1 .1. and our neighbors, let's just validate this again. So 482 is going to be 172.16.100.4 3 is 100.5 so we're working with 100.4 and 100.5 um our neighbors 172.16 100.4 with the remote as of 100 i'll change the password here to 14 it and this is going to be associated with our WAN, which is the hub tunnel interface in this case the second peer is going to be 172.16.100.5 with the remote AS of 100 and the password 14 it still also associated to our WAN interface our um, tunnel interface hub now we have our two peers the next thing is to advertise our network 10.10.10.10 slash 32 all right our BGP is configured on 48 one now let's configure BGP on 48 two and 48 three and for that we navigate down to network bgp our local as is 100 router id is 2.2.2 and uh, we are neighbors with 172.16.100.1 and the local as is 100 this password is 14 it it's associated with our tunnel tunnel zero interface from the perspective of 482, the only network that we want to advertise is 20.20.20.20 slash 32. Now that's saved. Let's move on to 483. Let's run get router info, routing table all. And we can see that the only routes that we have are connected in the static route for the underlay infrastructure. So now we navigate down to network, BGP, and we define our local AS as 100 and our router ID is 3.3.3.3 and our neighbors 172.16.100.1 with the remote AS of 100. And the password as well is going to be 14 it. We associate this with interface tunnel zero. Navigating down to networks, we want to advertise 30.30.30.30 slash 32. All right, now let's have a look at 48.1. Um, probably from the CLI would be better. Get router info, routing table, all. And now we can see that we have a 20.20 .20 network. Um, it looks like the 30 network is not in yet. Let's maybe try this again. Now we have 20.20.20 .20 and 30.30.30. .30. Now let's try and do the same test from 482. Get router info. Routing table all. We're also learning the route 10.10.10.10 .10 via BGP. And on 483, get router info. Routing table all. We see as well on 483 that we're learning 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10 .10. I'm going to try and do a reachability test coming from our interface 30.30 .30 to reach 10.10.10. .10 .10. Exec ping options source 30.30.30.30 .30 and exec ping 10.10.10.10. .10 and that seems to work. And the same of course would apply on 48.2. So I believe this brings us to the end of this lab. I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.